Hey, Dave Watts with Winwell Tennis here, and today we're going to talk about how to hit a topspin forehand. Okay, so the first thing to understand about hitting a topspin forehand is understanding what topspin is. So topspin is basically the ball rotating forward like a bicycle tire, so spinning end over end, right? Um, going forward. There's also backspin with the ball spinning backwards and there is side spin with the ball spinning sideways this way or this way and there's different variations of that. So you, the ball could be rotating on this axis with a little bit of topspin, a little bit of side spin or this axis this way. So, so before we talk about actually how to create topspin, let me first tell you how not to get it. So one of the main problems I see a lot of players do is they open the racket face and then they shut the racket face trying to get roll on the ball this way. That will never work. If the ball is open, generally the ball is going to go way up in the air. Okay, or I'm sorry, if the racket face is open. If the racket face is closed, the ball will generally go down. So how is topspin created? Well, if you have uh, been with like a typical teaching pro, they will tell you to brush the ball. And that's a great teaching term, uh, depending on if it works for you or not, but it's a very, very common term. And what they mean by that is, uh, as your racket starts below the level of the ball, and that's key, you have to have the racket below the level of the ball in order to create topspin. As your racket is below the level of the ball, you want to brush up the back of the ball with your strings. That's the feeling. Now, the ball is literally not going from the top of your strings to the bottom of your strings. It's not on the racket face long enough. But the feeling is that you're brushing up and you're pushing forward through contact. Uh, different variations of that depending on the different shot types. So if I want to drive the ball more like a laser, I'm going to accentuate the forward momentum of the stroke. If I want to create a heavier ball with more top spin like a Rafael Nadal, I'm going to accentuate the upward motion. That's why you see him, even though he goes way out to the target, he's going to come up over the same shoulder a lot because he's creating just a ton of spin. So he really, really enhances or accentuates the upward motion of the stroke. So a racket is going forward and it's going upward as it strikes the ball and that's how topspin is created. Okay, so here's a really simple drill on how to feel topspin. So what I want you to do, and I'm doing this as a lefty because I am a lefty, so you just need to do this obviously with your forehand right-handed if you're a righty. You want to grip up on the tennis racket with either an eastern or a semi-western grip, probably an eastern uh, if you're a beginner. That's generally the easiest grip to use. So gripping it with an eastern grip, and if you don't know what those grips are, by the way, check out my other video on the tennis grips. Uh, it'll be in the description below. So you're going to take an eastern grip and you're going to drop the ball. And the idea is just to make this brush and keep the racket at the same angle here as you go up. So I'm going to drop and brush. Okay, now I want to make sure that the racket goes below the level of contact. So it gets below the level of contact and then brushes up, okay? And I really don't take much of a backswing, just enough to get under and brush up. And I want to watch the ball roll end over end like a bicycle tire, right? And almost no backswing, just a little bit of a follow through. And I'm making sure that I'm going low to high and just feeling that brush at contact, right? It should feel nice and relaxed. But let me show you once or twice more here. So I get below the level of the ball and brush up. I get below the level of the ball and brush up. And I'm watching the ball spin in over end. Okay, so the next phase in the progression would be to grip all the way down on the tennis racket. I'm back up here behind the service line and I'm gonna start with my racket slightly closed here. Uh, I think Rick Macy calls it like the pat the dog position. That's kind of a, a cool uh, term. But the racket face is pointed down. And now from this position, I'm gonna get under the level of the ball and brush up. And as I follow through, I want to make sure that I go way, way, way up and finish high at first. I really want to start here, start low, and finish high to get the feeling of topspin, giving the ball some shape and some arc. Let me show you two more. Watching the ball spin end over end like a bicycle tire, giving the ball shape and letting it drop into the court. All right, so the next step in the progression is to go ahead and move back even further and now we're going to start the racket uh, from what we call our unit turn. So from my ready position, I'm going to turn and I have the racket up. By the way, these are all 
ways to increase power on, on the topspin stroke. So we can hit topspin just by going like this every time, but we're not gonna get much power or much rhythm. So by starting the racket up here in a nice unit turn, now I can let the racket fall with gravity and then swing it back up over the shoulder here. So I'm gonna turn, let it fall, swing it back up. Okay, so that looks something like this. I go from my unit turn, okay, then I step forward, let it fall, and go back up here like this. Turn, drop, go back up. 